All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Orphans, episode five. I hope you've been enjoying Orphans as much as I have. And if you have, if you've been enjoying Orphans and in, been enjoying this playthrough of episode five, be sure to hit that like button and let me know what you think of episode five in the comments down below. In the last video, two more people got eliminated. <laughs> Add those tally marks to the deaths, uh, I believe Jason and Steph Stefan, I always called him Stefan, it's actually Stefan, uh, Jason and Stefan, I believe, have been eliminated. Jason is the one that confirmed to us that Stefan was killed by the assassinating uh, 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 army guys that the cult has now hired to take us out, and it seems like Jason was also hit. When they were running through the woods. And, and it's not good. It's not good. Um, I don't know if. <laughs> if Annie's been eliminated or not either. Uh, in the last video. It seemed like Annie was eliminated by Mika. But then. Just all of a sudden started talking to us. As they were walking through the forest. Completely disregarding what happened with Mika. So I have no idea what's happening with Annie. But. We have a new file here we have a judas jpeg or a jpg you shall open their eyes so they turn from darkness to light and come to god from the dominion of satan then i will forgive their sins and because they believe in me they will have a place among those who belong to me very interesting we have some uh, notes here as well. We have uh, f f Fratricide. Oh my god, Mika. The beast inside her killed Annie. At least we think. I have no idea. <laughs> I feel so terribly guilty. I was the one who told the demon that Annie was at the house where Jarek... I, I couldn't warn her. Um, they, always had, they, they just got to constantly bring it up that I'm the one that told Mika where Annie was. They just have to keep bringing it up. I feel bad enough as it is. Why do you have to keep reminding me <laughs> that I was the one that told Mika this? <laughs> you just can't let it go, can you? <laughs> My texts were playing up. My words uh, even uh, encouraged Annie to open the door to the monster. Yeah, the monster was changing our, our text messages around and uh, essentially told Annie to let the, let Mika in. And, uh, you know, it made us look like we were telling Annie to let the monster in. And, and that wasn't the case, obviously, because I would never do that. <laughs> Armed violence. Ina insisted on saving Samuel alone. She is threatening a guard with the knife. Uh, Jason left her. No one can help her. And the bad news just keeps coming. Someone is shooting at Jason and Stefan on their way to the cemetery. Legends say... Burying John, uh, Father John's skull there could free the souls of the orphans. They almost made it when gunshots rang out. And yeah, uh, they had the skull of Father John. And it doesn't seem like they made it. It doesn't seem like they made it to the to where they need to bury the skull, which is unfortunate. Because now, now, if we need to, you know, if we're, if we're trying to release and trying to free the souls of the orphans, now we got to go find the damn skull where... <laughs> Stefan or Jason is laying there not living anymore. <laughs> Jumping into the facts group with Amber. Amber says, now we've heard gunshots too. Sounded pretty far away though. They were coming somewhere or they, they were somewhere near the cemetery. There is a second team and they're close to their hunt. Look, there, there, there is a second team. We do know that they're second team. We know that because they were talking to each other. Crap. How do they know we're here? I've been careful, TT. I'm sure of it. Nobody has been following us so far. Maybe it's people from the village who were after St Stefan. The Brotherhood is powerful. They have spies everywhere. Someone must have betrayed us. Is that... Mm. Who? Who alive now can be... <laughs> <laughs> Who's even alive to betray us? I have no idea. I mean, Ina and, uh, and Samuel, they, they have no idea what's going on with um, Amber, Fonts, or Carla. Carla is dead, so it's not Carla. Carla can't. 
<laughs> Carla can't be betraying us. So who, who's betraying us? That is actively still alive. <laughs> Annie's out of her mind. We don't know if Annie's alive or not. Mika's possessed. I have no idea. I, I, <laughs> I have no idea. But look, the Brotherhood is very powerful. They have spies. There. I think that's the best choice to go with. Because I have, I can't think of anybody who's still alive that could be betraying us. It's a good point. I'm starting to lose hope. This is insane. Angry spirits want to kill us. A demon about to throw open the gates of hell. These damn fanatics who clearly have much more power than we anticipated. And now some maniacs are chasing us too. Jarek, Sandy, Carla, Annie. We're dropping like flies. Should Stefan and Jason really not have made it? How are we going to get out of here alive? Yeah. And, you know, Tammy and Leon, they're both possessed as well. So the, how are they? They, they? they don't know where Amber and... Uh, the fonts is how how would they be able to betray us? I mean, it, everyone that's alive <laughs> has, has no reason to be betraying us, unless this is like a double cross by fonts the entire time, which doesn't make any sense. You're the last hope we have. You have to make it, Amber. Only you can stop it. Don't give up. Yeah, you're you're basically the last hope we have. Amber and fonts really ultimately the last hope we have. We think, I don't know, we think that Am, uh, Annie might be eliminated. We, we have no idea. We have no idea. She was talking to us at the end of last video. I hate to say it, but our chances are pretty slim. It's just one big nightmare. Sorry. But you're right. In any case, if we don't find these incantations, we're all going to die. I decrypted the file, but I can't make any sense of it. This was the file that uh, supposedly had the clue on it, the, the Judas file. Which is this one right here. We're, we're, we'll open it back up. Yeah, I mean, uh, you shall open the their eyes so they turn from darkness to light and come to God from the, dam, uh, from the dominion of Satan. Then I will forgive their sins, and because they believe in me, they will have a place among those who belong to me. Amber says, I don't get it. Oh, we got movement detected. Was that Tammy? I don't know if that was Tammy or not. Amber says, I don't get it either. Henry says, Amber... Check out Sister Brown's room as you, as soon as you get there. This picture must be a clue. All right, I'll be in touch. Uh, was that Tammy? I mean, the, the the words on the wall said "set us free." I don't know if that was Tammy or not. Unknown. Who the hell is unknown? It's hopeless. Tongue tied. There's nothing more you can do for them. You still have the opportunity to choose the right side, but my patience is running out. The one without light will have no mercy and destroy anyone who opposes him. All right, I'm giving up. <laughs> do we do it? I mean, we're starting to run out of people. We're starting to run out of lives. Maybe we just give in. <laughs> All right, I'm giving up. What do you want me to do? Oh, is this a dis Oh, my goodness. Is this like a switch? Is this the, the, the point where you switch from good to evil? Oh. Oh, <laughs> after we complete this entire game, which is only has six episodes, we're probably I'm probably going to have to come back through and complete a second uh, a second playthrough of maybe just close to the end here where we start making these final decisions, you know, maybe like episode uh, five and on and start doing these these final decisions. So that way we can see the end result as if we were as if we were to join unknown i'm not joining unknown right now you know we're, we're we're staying on the good side because i'm 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 a good person i'm not i'm not evil contrary to the fact that i've killed a lot of people that was <laughs> unintentional unintentional uh, but, <laughs> 
we are not going to join unknown and the bears life but we might do that in the in the second playthrough <laughs> but look no there's no way i'm going to abandon my friends absolutely not the authors we got an author's chat oh that's so good planet earth to karsten did you catch that karsten's online I told you. Tongue tied is loyal and stands by his friends. See, Kai knows. Kai knows. Carson's all right, all right. <laughs> so much for the player wants to be the bad guy. <laughs> I got it now, Kai. Will you finally drop your crazy idea? You got to admit. It would be pretty tempting, though. It it was tempting. It was tempting to, to switch, which, which, of course, we will. We will switch to the other side in the next playthrough, but um, not this time around. Not really my cup of tea. I think it could be interesting for some people. Yeah, I was thinking, look, I was definitely thinking about it. I was definitely thinking about it. It would be, it would be interesting. I don't know. Maybe Tongue Tide will give it more thought. Rubbish. Right, tongue tied? Ah. <laughs> Maybe the best way for me to help them is to gain the trust of the Brotherhood. Now that I think about it, what do you want me to do? Go down with them? Nothing will make me change my look. I mean, I mean, <laughs> man, I don't know. Like, what do you, what do you think? You go down with my friends? Like, they're all dying. Maybe I should switch. Hmm. Maybe the best thing or the best way for me to help them is to gain the trust of the brotherhood definitely not at least i don't think so man i don't even know what to pick Look, i'm like what, what do you expect me to do go down with them <laughs> but they need your help tongue tied without you they don't stand a chance of course i know that but with me they're also dropping like flies <laughs> I hardly know them. Why should I risk my life for them? <laughs> you have to know when you've lost. Okay, Kai, I agree. They trust me and need my help. Man. Look, he, oh, I don't even know. Like, I hope this doesn't change the, the outcome of the game, but I'm, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate with the authors. Because they trust you. Friends stick together in good and bad times. Carson says, I can understand tongue tied a little. <laughs> he still has a chance to get off with a black eye. And if what this unknown person says is true, tongue tied can expect paradise on earth. Can he trust someone who doesn't even reveal their identity? Okay. That's. A <laughs> Was that an attack? Was that. <laughs> Was that an attack directed at me? Can you, can you really trust me if you don't know my identity? I think you can. I think you can. Absolutely. We didn't know Wolf's identity for the longest time. We trusted Wolf. We didn't know Jake's identity for the longest. We still don't know Jake's identity. We trust Jake. You can trust Tongue Tied. Plain and simple. Look, that evidence. Evidence right there with Wolf and Jake. Didn't know their identity. Trusted them. Blindly trusted them. <laughs> Kai says, if you ask me, the guy's up to no good. Fuck it, it's just game, right? Why not just play for the bad guys? <laughs> the hell with this brotherhood. Uh, what would you do in my... Look, look, to hell with this brotherhood. I'm not joining their side this time. We will in the next one, though. <laughs> Kai says, my words exactly. To hell with this brotherhood. Carson says, I'd be careful with that. Maybe you shouldn't make your decision too quickly. Tell that stranger to go F, <laughs> to go F off. Kai, please. Fight on their own. <laughs> Tell the stranger to go fight on their own. <laughs> well, I'm undecided. Oh, Daniel's online. Hi, guys. Interesting topic. Hi, Daniel. What's your opinion on this? Hey, Daniel. I 
I think the idea of pretending to side with the Brotherhood is pretty clever. It would be a great way to give Amber and the others an advantage. But you're right, it's very risky as well. Tim, what do you think? Tim is online. Man, what would Tim do? Does Tim go straight to evil? I mean, he was Oni. <laughs> it's really not looking good for Amber and company. And if what the Brotherhood claims is true, at least you can save your ass tongue-tied. It's a good point. It's, good. it's a very good point. It's a good point. I mean, everyone else dies, I could save myself. If I were you, I'd put myself... I knew the Oni was going to do it. I knew the Oni was going to put himself first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, if you decide against the Brotherhood, you will go to hell with your friends. You're a great help. Not. <laughs> awesome. Ask the authors if you need help, right? <laughs> I'm just as lost as before. Look, just, just ask the authors if you ever need help. And they'll help you, kind of. They'll give you com con conflicting viewpoints. <laughs> Daniel says, sorry, tongue tied. There's no way we can make that decision for you. That's right. It's just totally up to you. I'm afraid I have to agree with them. You know my opinion. I'm with Kai. These maniacs must be stopped. Daniel is right. I will try to gain the trust of these guys. I'll do what Tim says. I'll side with the Brotherhood. I'm as undecided as Carson. I'll give everything more thought, a second thought, and decide later. I'm going to go with that. Uh, however, I am telling you guys now that we are going to stay on um, the Brotherhood side. Or, <laughs> no, no, we're going to stay on the friend side against, oh, the intrusive thoughts are, are flooding in. <laughs> the unconscious decision, the unconscious choices are coming out. <laughs> we're staying on the friend side. We are against the Brotherhood. To hell with the Brotherhood. <laughs> Carson says, I think that's a sensible thing to do. Daniel and I have to get back to work. Tongue-tied, hope you live long enough to experience our next story. <laughs> we'll be watching you. You know how to cheer someone up, don't you? I'm excited to find out what you come up with next. Don't uh, let me keep you from your work any longer. I'm very excited what you're coming up with next. We know that they're working on Argus. Right. Enough chatting for now. That's right. Can't wait to see if Tongue Tied made the right decision. Enjoy the rest of your story, Tongue Tied. Back to unknown. Don't be afraid to make the right decision. You should make it soon, however. Your time is running out, and you will end up like your friends should you not continue to support them. Mika says, I will tear down the altars? I don't understand. I thought you were tearing down Annie. I will tear down your altars. Your churches will burn. Where are your gods when you need them most? Why won't you, or why won't they answer your prayers? They're cowards. They're weak. Watching their sheep led to slaughter. Feasting on the suffering and misery of their subjects. Soon they will be kneeling in the dust at my feet. For mine is the power of the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Tom Ranger, Tom Ranger. King Leader is listening. We're in the building. So creepy this place. Keep your eyes open and get the job done. Roger. Team 2, watch the location. We're in the target area. 250 meters from the main building. All right. Let me know when you're inside. Roger that. The order is clear. Locate and eliminate the targets. Team 2, moving. And don't shoot everything that moves like you did last time. We're in the west wing. I don't want to get hit by a bullet. Over and out. Hmm. They're closing in. They are closing in. Are we still talking with Mika? No. Jumping over to Amber and the facts group. The building is massive. I have to be careful not to get lost. We split up. Covering more ground that way. My dad is looking for the chapel. I'm on my way to the nun's room. 
Amber, they're already inside the orphanage. A few of them are already close. They've, uh, they've, you've got to hide. They're coming. Ooh. Are they inside the orphanage? It didn't look like they were inside the orphanage, but I guess they are. Uh, I don't know what to do. Do we waste time by having them hide and still potentially get caught? I don't know. Look, I'm just going to let her know. I'm going to make, she can make the decision whether she wants to hide or not. <laughs> Are you sure? Um, there's somewhere inside the building already. Just don't know where. Good Lord. Dad, did you hear that? Oh, no. Fonts. There he is. Okay. I did. We have to be really quiet. Leave that place. You should you, uh, you should have stayed together. The incantations. Uh, find the incantations and get the hell out of there. Yeah, hurry. Just fast and quiet. Amber, did you find Sister Brown's room? Not yet. I'm in the hallway on the first floor, just past one of the dorms. Okay. At the end of the hallway, you have to keep to the right. If I remember correctly, Sister Brown's room is behind the second to last door on the left. Got it. Shoot. I heard something. Oh, no. Please, no. Not Amber. Damn it. You were right. They're here. I heard voices, and they're really close. I'm scared. Oh my god. No, no, no. That's not good. I think they're in the stairwell. Uh, shit. Then the way to the exit is cut off. Amber, run. Get out of there. You look, I, you, you, you kind of, you have to hide, Amber. You have to hide. Tongue tied is right, sweetheart. You gotta hide somewhere. Make sure they cannot find you. What is happening? Yeah, um, <laughs> tango down. <laughs> so the ghosts got one of them. They are, they, they are. Oh, them ghosts are out for blood, and they're taking them, them, them soldier guys down. That's good. I mean, that's good, right? It's really good. Movement detected. Is that it? Can we talk to Amber? Can I talk to nobody? Is that the end? Okay, so I think this is the end. I I I, I um I had to double check a couple things, but this is this is the end of episode five, and um that was the last little cutscene where, where the movement was detected. That is the end of episode five. Um, it's interesting to think because it kind of seems like the ghosts are protecting fonts and amber potentially i did see that there were some issues with the end scene you know how normally it goes to the end it's like oh you've completed episode five here's i guess like you you get like a, a, a some a code for some bix for you know maybe like the sign or the healing or something like that but there are some it seems like there might be a little issue with with that 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 end screen here but that is the end of episode five here where we saw that last little bit of movement detected and the, the army guy getting absolutely destroyed by ghost. I don't know if that's the ghost helping Fonts and Amber and protecting them, or if it's just they just got lucky and they they attacked the 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 assassin there before they attacked Amber or Fonts. Uh hopefully, 
hopefully that's the case where they are protecting Fonts and Amber, but I don't know. Still have no idea if Annie's still alive. I, I, in our notes, it said that she wasn't, but we talked to her since her time with Mika. I have no idea. But we did get an author's chat, which is really cool. I do know of, an, uh, of another author's chat in episode five that we did not receive. And that's because the reason we did not receive it is because we told Mika where Annie was. If you don't tell Mika where Annie is, you have an opportunity to get another uh, author's chat if you wave to the mystery person who waves to you, which I hear is a really good author's chat in the next playthrough. Or maybe if I'm able to uh, find the time to maybe get back to that point, um, then I'll try to show that author's chat, but uh, I'll probably have to wait till the next playthrough to actually show it. Um, that way we can kind of make different decisions and different choices and get different endings and get different different cutscenes and stuff in the next playthrough. But let me know what you guys think of episode five. This was the finale of episode five. And I mean, we're down to like a few people left. I don't know if Annie's there or not, but we have Ina, Samuel, and, and honestly, it doesn't look good for Ina right now. Um, or Samuel, but hopefully we'll be able to save them. But we're down to basically Ina, Samuel, and Font and Amber. As far as those who we think are alive and not possessed. Tammy and Leon may still be alive, but super possessed. Mika, we know, is super possessed. We don't know about Annie. And that's about it. <laughs> Carla was turned into Jello. Um... Jerk and Sandy were both destroyed. Sandy by Belial, aka Mika, and uh, Jerk by Sandy, aka shotgun to the face. <laughs> oh, it's so terrible! I can't believe it. But I'm I'm so thoroughly enjoying Orphans, and I can't wait for Episode Six to come out. I hope you guys have been enjoying Orphans as much as I have. And if you have, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And join the Tethered. As always. Thanks for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.